So you bought a new iPhone, you have a new case, now you're looking for some cool accessory, or maybe you're here looking for a gift for the techie in your life. Well, you've come to the right place. Hi, I'm Michael Josh, your gadget matchmaker, helping you find the right device to match your needs. In this video, we'll take a look at our favorite iPhone accessories. In this video, you'll hear the word MagSafe used a lot. So before we dive in, here's a brief introduction for those of you who are unacquainted. Last year, when Apple released the iPhone 12 series, they introduced a system that allows you to attach accessories to your iPhone magnetically via circular-shaped magnets inside your phone, as can be seen in this animated cross-section, or by using a sheet of magnetic film. While not all the accessories featured in this video have to do with MagSafe, I believe that this is the future of iPhone accessories. One more thing to take note, anything MagSafe related requires that you own either an iPhone 12 or 13. Let's start with MagSafe accessories from Apple. This is Apple's MagSafe charger. I lovingly refer to it as the MagSafe charging puck. It's 39 bucks on apple.com, does not come with an adapter, but offers currently the fastest wireless charging speeds on an iPhone, which is 15 watts. While I own wireless chargers of all shapes and sizes, I prefer to use the MagSafe charger because the magnets ensure that the coils on your phone and the charger are aligned and stay aligned. I also like that I get both visual and haptic feedback to know that they're connected. Cause I've been there thinking that I've placed the phone down to charge overnight, only to wake up to find out that my phone is empty. By now, you all probably know that this is my favorite iPhone accessory. The MagSafe wallet fits three cards and sticks to the back of your phone. These new ones now come with Find My sort of built in. I say sort of because unlike AirTags, which you can continuously track, the wallet only tells you the last known location it was attached to your phone. Thankfully, your iPhone will also now prompt you if it's detected that you've left your wallet behind. These come in a range of colors and go for 59 bucks. The MagSafe battery pack is the closest thing to removable extra batteries for your new iPhone. They also stick to the back of your phone, but you can also remove them when not in use. So you can avoid the hassle of a power bank and cable or a bulky built-in battery case. These are a bit pricey at $99 each and only have wireless charging speeds of five watts, which is slow. So I recommend popping one on as soon as your phone drops just below 50%. If you're looking for a more affordable version to Apple's MagSafe charger, this video's sponsor ESR makes one with a twist. Their Halo Lock kickstand is a wireless charging puck with a built-in stand so you can prop your iPhone up like this for uninterrupted video watching or FaceTime calls while charging. The puck has a built-in USB-C port, so unlike the one from Apple, you can unplug it and take it with you to use as the stand. You also get a longer 1.5 meter cable, which is always nice, so you don't have to worry about that power outlet being so far away. It's available in white and black and retails for $30. If you own a car and need to prop up your phone, well, MagSafe is a great solution for that also. Much better than the old clamp style system. ESR's Halo Lock wireless car charger mount comes with its own magnetic wireless charger, this thing over here, which attaches to your car's AC vents via this clamp. When paired with an optional 18 watt PD or QC charger, you get 7.5 watt charging speeds, and you can rotate between portrait and landscape mode. ESR recommends that you use an official iPhone MagSafe case or an ESR Halo Lock case, especially if you expect rough terrain. Of the two, we found the ESR Halo Lock cases have stronger magnets and hold on to your phone better. And because we want you to get all the best deals, you can use the codes down below to get up to 20% off when you check out on Amazon. Also, if you want to win a new iPhone 13, we're giving you that chance as well. Two winners get a new iPhone 13 and ESR Halo Lock bundle, which includes all the awesome ESR products we featured in this video. This contest is open to users worldwide. To join, visit esrgear.com or click on the link below. By the way, when it comes to using magnets to mount accessories on iPhones, a company called Pitaka has been doing it long before MagSafe. Their system was called MagEasy, which included accessories with magnets and cases with metal strips. After Apple announced MagSafe, Pitaka decided to just adopt the system to ensure maximum compatibility with other accessories moving forward. 
These are the first from their Mag Easy 2 line, starting with their cases. Pitaka has three, but these ones, dubbed the Mag Easy Case 2, are real fancy. Ultra slim and made from aramid fibers, with a $59 price tag to back it up. I have the black case, but they're also now available in a range of colors, including red, orange, and blue. Coming later this fall is the new Mag Easy Car Mount Pro, made to stick on a car's air vent, with super strong magnets that ensure your iPhone stays put. If you're looking for a cheaper alternative to Apple's MagSafe battery pack, then consider this one from Hyper. Not only is it more than half the price at $39.99, it has more than double the battery capacity with 5,000 milliamp hours of juice, or should I say Hyper juice, enough to give your iPhone 13 Pro Max an additional 75% charge. Its 7.5 watt charging speed is also faster. Finally, it's got a built-in USB-C port, so if you're really in a pinch, you can charge your iPhone even faster or share power with a friend as long as they have a cable on them. If a MagSafe battery pack is not for you, consider also the Clutch Charger. Now in version 2, this tiny card size power bank is thin enough to fit into a wallet. About the size of four credit cards stacked on top of each other, it packs in 3000 milliamp hours. Not enough for a full charge, but definitely good enough for that burst of emergency power in a pinch. It comes in three colors, black, pink, and white. While wireless charging has been available on iPhones for a while now, it wasn't really till last year that I switched to wireless chargers for my bedside. And I think that's partly because MagSafe dramatically improves the reliability of wireless charging, which is so dependent on two parts coming together just right. Apple's MagSafe charger is the default choice, but is not without flaws. When you try to lift up your phone, the puck will just follow, and you'll inevitably end up pulling it off from an adapter. Thankfully, there are accessories designed to weigh it down. My favorite, and you've seen this on my videos plenty of times, is this one from Nomad, which sits on the right-hand side of my bed. The Nomad MagSafe mount is 99 bucks, so kind of pricey, but so worth it. Milled from a block of stainless steel, it has a cutout specifically for your MagSafe charger. Because it's weighted, you can just lift your phone up and the charger stays put. Another one I recommend but don't own is this one from Grovemade. I tried to order one, but it would not make it on time for this video. But nonetheless, I still recommend it because I own a lot of other Grovemade accessories. You might have seen them in videos from time to time, from risers for your laptop to iPad stands, all of them crafted with American black walnut. These ones prop your iPhone up like a stand. It's even pricier at $120, but the quality is oh so good. This walnut model comes with a steel base, but for $50 more, you can get one with a brass base, which is the one I think I'm ordering. I have one by my bedside, the other side, so you know it's a product I use. The Belkin Boost Charge Pro is a three-in-one charger for your iPhone, Apple Watch, and AirPods. On one side, there's a MagSafe charger. This one is Apple certified, so you get 15 watt charging speeds also. On the other side, a charger for your Apple Watch, and on the bottom, a place to charge your AirPods. The Boost Charge Pro is $150, but definitely worth every penny. It comes in white and black. Now, if you're the type who still would rather use a cable to charge your iPhone, here's a cute way to keep your cables organized on your desk or nightstand. Think of Cable Wrangler as a fabric-wrapped magnetic paperweight. Because of magnets underneath, some cables will stick to it. If not, you can use the included magnetic collar to ensure its clinginess. That way, no more having to dive down to search for your fallen cables. Cable Wrangler retails for only $19.99 and comes in four colors, lightly toasted beige, number two pencil gray, I'm blushing, and teal me more. You can also get matching charged reinforced cables of your choice, including USB-C to lightning. Crown Jewel charging cables cost $14.99. From charging stuff, let's now move on to accessories that I think creators might love. And if you're one of them, then you probably are familiar with this next brand. After all, who hasn't owned a Gorillapod? 
And now there's one with a MagSafe mount too. So instead of requiring some sort of clamp that screws into your Gorilla Pod, you can either get a grip tight mount for MagSafe for $39.95 or get the set that includes a Joby tripod for $69.95. The rest is self-explanatory. Just set up your Gorilla Pod as you would and your iPhone magnetically attaches to it. Another brand well-loved by creators, Moment, is well-known for its system of lenses and filters that expand what your smartphone camera can do. Pro tripod mount comes with a cold shoe mount for attaching a light or maybe an external microphone. Or you can check out their multi-threaded mount with a whole bunch of different threads for screwing on what have you. If you're a Pop Sockets fan, I don't blame you. It's one of the most popular way of ensuring that your hand never lets go of your phone. The thing about Pop Sockets though, is that once you stick them on, they're on, unless you get a case with one built in. But what if you wanted to wirelessly charge your phone? My next two picks are Pop Sockets with MagSafe that magnetically snap on to the back of your phone so that you can use them as you would any Pop Socket, but easily tug them off when you don't want them in the way. The Pop Grip with MagSafe retails for $29.99 and comes in black, blue Nebula, gold Lutz marble, and opal. This one is gold Lutz marble and it pairs well with the gold iPhone. If you're like me and love the idea of a wallet, consider the phone grip and wallet. This one is $39.99 and also has a pop socket built in, but also has a wallet that can carry up to three cards. This might just be my new favorite MagSafe wallet. Speaking of, if you're looking for alternatives to Apple's MagSafe wallet, then you should also definitely check out this one from Moft. Apart from being able to also fit in three cards, it also opens like this so you can slip your fingers through and securely grip onto your phone, or like this and prop it up like you would a kickstand. I like that it's made of leather so it still looks quite elegant. The MagSafe compatible version retails for $29.99 and is available in blue, black, brown, and gray. Here's another accessory I think you might like. Whether you're playing an Apple Arcade game using a controller, watching videos while washing the dishes, or just working at your desk, a stand for your iPhone is always nice to have. For the last few years, I've been using these stands by Lamy Call, but I found them a bit too low, and I have since upgraded to their new 2021 model. It's taller, about 6.4 inches, and has silicone cushioning to protect the back of your device, with an adjustable tilt head so that you can get the perfect angle. Fitness buffs will love Belkin's magnetic fitness mount, which comes with this belt-like strap that can wrap around things. So for example, I wrapped it around this fence and propped up my iPhone like so. In order to do a HIIT workout on Apple Fitness Plus at the park, you can also wrap it around the front of a stationary bike for a guided bike session. The backside is also magnetic, so it can attach to gym equipment like this. This accessory retails for $34.99. Sustainability is something that's near and dear to my heart, so I really wanted to be able to include a brand that kind of reflects these values. And recently, I've come across a company called Nimble, whose whole identity is all about building products made from recycled materials, but also ones that can easily be recycled after end of life. You can check them out at gonimble.com, but for this video, I want to highlight three of their products. Their PowerNet USB-C to lightning cable is made from certified plastic bottles and aluminum cables. Their Champ portable charger packs 10,000 milliamp hours of battery power into a relatively small case, and it delivers an 18 watt charge. Also, apart from a USB-C port, it also has a USB-A port so that you can charge two devices at the same time. This guy is made from 72.5% post-consumer plastic. Finally, the Apple Wireless Pad is also a MagSafe puck replacement, albeit a more pricey one at just under 50 bucks. The top surface is made from anti-slip recycled silicone, which looks unique for each user. This is how mine looks. By the way, every product includes a recycled plastic bag with a prepaid mail-in label so that you can send your old tech back for them to recycle for free, helping close the loop on electronic waste. 
We love great ideas on this channel, and if you have any other great ones, let me know in the comments section below. Those are probably some of the iPhone accessories that we're familiar with. There probably are many more out there, and if we find more interesting ones, we might make a follow-up video. To make sure you don't miss that and many more videos from this channel, subscribe to us on YouTube and hit that bell icon so that you get notified as soon as we upload. Follow me on social media for all the behind-the-scenes fun stuff, and as always, make GadgetMatch.com your daily habit. Until the next video, I'm Michael Josh. Thanks for dropping by.